How important is, is tonight's event for you, especially because, you know, it's something that Steven's been wanting to do for quite some time already. Well, it's, it's really important, for, first of all, because I'm, I'm here in support of my brother Steven. Right. And, you know, Steven and I have been close friends. We went to high school together, so we go back a long way. And you're not tired of him yet, so that, that's the good thing, right? <laughs> Well, I don't know about that, <laughs> but um, he's, yeah, he's been wanting to do this for a long time, and I'm really glad that it's coming to fruition for him. Right. And, and being a, a band member, this I mean, this kind of, the inception of this was kind of like 20 plus years ago. Did he, is this something that he continued to talk about over the years? Uh, yes, it is. It is. It is. He, he wrote the song. I came up with the name, and you know, it's it, it's it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. You know the whole the whole cause, the, the whole thing behind it. Oh, right. It's all it's all good. Now, re regarding music, 15 albums over the years. Throughout those 15 records, who has been the producer that has you know stood out the most to you, either because they challenged you or you just like the way that they worked with you guys? Um, I would have to say Jack Douglas. What was it about him? Well, what Jack brings to the table is fun. And usually when you're having fun doing something, it usually comes out pretty well. Yeah. And uh, Jack always brought fun to the table. He was always willing to try new ideas, no matter whose it was, yeah. or no matter whether it was good, bad, or indifferent. And you know, and, and he's a very fair-minded person. And plus, we did like four or five records with him. Yeah, I mean, you obviously liked him. He's like family. Right. Now, can we maybe expect him for another record with you guys? Um, ah, that, that's hard. That's hard to say, man. Yeah, that's hard to say. Now, I know you know Stephen went out and did his his country music. Do you see? Any effect that that the way that he wrote country? Um, do you see any effect in how he might be writing with Aerosmith nowadays? Um. Yeah, I do. I do. I think that he's you know he's he's worked he's gotten the he's had the opportunity to work with a lot of different people, especially in Nashville. Right. And you know anytime you anytime you experiment and do something out of the box, it's going to affect what you do when you get back in the box. Right. So, yeah, I think it'll have an effect. Now you guys will be hitting the road soon for, for some tours. What is touring like for you guys, now that you guys have done it all, basically? Well, I don't know that we've done it all. I mean, there's still some places in the world that we haven't been. Okay. And, uh, those, those are some of the places that we're going to cover on this tour. And as far as it being a farewell tour, you know, your guess is as good as mine. Right. With this, one thing I love about my band is that I never know what to expect. Right. The element of surprise never goes away.